What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to, I believe, episode three of Smidwinders Radio. We are on week two of uh, posting weekly, um, and I'm here today with the usual Jugs Gaming. So, I think we're just gonna kick it right off. Help! I don't know where I am. And you are super quiet. Help! Oh, every podcast. <laughs> it has to happen. <laughs> and you know it does. Ugh. I'm hurt. That's why we're friends. I know. <clears throat> so, um, we have a good lineup for you guys today. And gals. And mixed. Um, so we have satire YouTubers and getting them getting taken down and our opinions about it. And we also have... Facebook streaming, and if it's going to be able to compete with YouTube and Twitch. Um, so yeah, what do you want to start with? I'll let you pick. Oh, I think we should start with satire on YouTube. Okay, Facebook streaming. No, I'm just kidding. Satire on YouTube, got it. So basically, we ta- we kind of touched on this topic a little while ago when we talked about Leafy, because he makes satire videos, but ever since Leafy has been blowing up, which he has, I think he's rated the fastest growing YouTuber. He's at 3 mil already. Hmm. And like I think it was early this year in April that he was making his thank you for like 300k subs wow. video. Yeah, so he's blowing up. He, I think he got through a million subs in a month. Nice. I think, if I'm f- remembering correctly. But ever since Levy has been blowing up, there's been a lot more satire channels uh, coming out. I've even been asked to make a few videos, but I don't want to get involved with it because I don't want to be mean or cruel or seen anyway. My goal is to not make it on drama alert. That's basically it. <laughs> um... I don't know if you could consider my channel satire. I mean, I know I don't really... Well, like, we're talking, like, leafy vi- leafy style videos. Oh, so where they just, like... Like, those channels are popping up everywhere. Got it. Okay. Like, where they literally just hammer down on the guy for making just a really weird video. So, like, if someone made a channel dedicated to making fun of your channel, like you did with your roasting video, just someone else did it. Right? That's... Okay. Sort of. Depends. Sorta. It's like, satire is uh, making fun of people for comedic effect and nothing else, but then there's other people that'll just be mean just to be mean and make a video on it. So, like, Leafy's satire because he doesn't actually try to offend anybody. He's just screwing around. He's just, he's doing it for comedic relief, or not comedic relief, just uh, comedic purposes. Right, and then there are other people out there that are just dicks. Yeah, that's what it is. Got it. But they've been getting a lot of hate because a lot of people have been saying, oh, I'm going to quit YouTube because I got told to kill myself because this guy made a video on me. So that's basically what's been going down. Well then, um, let me start off by saying if you're going to quit YouTube because of what someone else said, don't. <laughs> if I would have, if I listened to that, I probably would have quit a long time ago. Uh, moving on, um... If you're going to make fun of someone's channel, at least try to make it seem like you're not trying to offend them. Even if you are trying to offend them, at least make it seem like you're not. Because if you just ruin someone else's day or their channel, it's just like, wow, you're a jerk. What if someone did that, did that to you? I know it's going to sound corny saying that, but like, if someone else did that to you, how are you going to feel? Hmm? You're, you're probably going to, like right now, if you were to reply to my question, you'd be like, I wouldn't care. I'm tough. But in but, a real life situation, you would probably be pretty upset and think about quitting YouTube. I want to quit YouTube. He said mean things about me. I'm going to quit YouTube because he told me to fondle my grandma. <laughs> okay. Okay, then that turned pretty dark. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Shout out to Onan's pranks, even though we can't do nothing with him because he's three mil subs. If he ever saw this podcast, he'd probably be like, what the hell's wrong with these guys? Watch him animate this. Just, <laughs> just next week we see Smidwinders Radio Episode 2 animated. It's Episode 3. Episode 3. Is it really Episode 3? I thought yeah. it was Episode 2. Because I thought we only named the last one. To one. No, huh? it was... Episode 1 was the GameStop one. Got it. Okay. Episode 2 was politics and such. And then now. And this is Facebook and everything. Right. Oh, and by the way, just some people might get a little confused because we're using the same logo, but there's not going to be the Donald Trump picture. So we're going to try to put, like, little other 
other pictures in there besides uh, the microphone and the Smidwinder's writing on the city. Um, and they're just kind of that whatever relates to the topic. Just to s- just frazzle things. Yeah. And so. FYI there. So I'm just putting that out there. Can I put dazzle your nipples? No. Damn it. That sounds like a good idea. No. <laughs> you could go to the pool and just rip off your shirt. And be like, ah. No. So one thing I do need to save up for to make a better quality podcast, like you know how we always wanted to bring this to a uh, camera? Yeah. I need to get a better webcam. Like, you've seen the quality of my webcam. It sucks. Yeah, it's not the greatest. But the thing is, like, the webcam I want is, like, 50 damn dollars. And I'm getting paid this week, and I only get paid 10 dollars. Oh. So it's going to take a long time to save up. Yeah, that's going to take a while. Um, I could start contributing if you need me to. Only if you really want. I mean, it's, it's something that will help the channel a lot, or the podcast at least. But... I don't. I don't want to take your money because it's just. I've, I'll I'll fight. That's all right. I mean, after I get a couple things out of the way. I mean, well, that's something to talk about off camera. Off camera. Yeah. <laughs> well, or there's no off camera, mic. so camera. It's technically off camera. Off mic. Got it. Um. So again, before we deviate too far, satire. Basically, let let's get down to the final question. Satire channels. Are they good? Are they bad? Should we have them? Should we not? I think that it doesn't matter. It's freedom of speech. I think it doesn't matter just because YouTube is YouTube. <laughs> yeah, YouTube is a free platform. You can make whatever type of videos you want. I don't think they deserve as much flack as they do, though. Right. Like, people should respect that there are some pretty quin- cringeworthy people on YouTube, and sometimes they just need to be put on blast for better comedian. Or sometimes it helps out some of these channels. So, I think satire channels are here, and they're probably going to stay either way, no matter what. Uh, is going on. There was a petition going around for Leafy's channel to get shut down for quite some time. So, uh, yeah. I think evaluating, man, I cannot English lately. Um, evaluating on what I said earlier about it's just. You knew when you. They're here because they're YouTube. Um,. I know I don't censor myself very much on my channel, and it's probably going to offend people one of these days, but I put up, I fair warning, put up a video on my channel that was a warning telling people like, hey, I'm not very censored. Now I'm not racist, so I don't say the N-word. I'll say cracker, I'm white, but that's because I say that. And um, I don't really censor myself that much on cuss words. Now I, don't, I try not to say retard, sometimes it's force a habit, but I just Same. don't say it just because it's just how I am. Um... I, that's not considered satire, I know, but it's just YouTube is YouTube. You got to live with it. Sometimes co- comedy, to me, comedy is best when it's uncensored. Yeah, same. Because like, then you hear exactly what you want to hear. Like my parents don't think so, but my channel has been blowing up ever since I've been allowed to cuss. If you guys yeah, don't know, sense. if you're new to the channel, if you're new to everything with us, I used to be on a very PG like content. The only thing that made it Man. PG was because I was doing Call of Duty gameplay. But that was, now I am supposedly a PG-13, but um, now it's like one of those things where little kids will cuss all the time. They, you know, every other word. But now that when you're allowed to say it, you don't. It's like you use it in like moderation. You just don't use it as much because now you don't feel the it's need like, to. It's like, um, I always use this analogy with stuff, but it, it's true. Like, if you go downstairs and there's a jar of cookies there and your mom says, you can no have a cookie, cookies. but you can only have one. You know, it's like your favorite cookies. Like, your mom just made, like, double-stuffed Oreo peanut butter cookies. I don't or, know. or, you know, oatmeal raisin cookies, but... Those are actually pretty damn good. See? Someone else likes them. Finally. <laughs> those are great. Everyone I've talked to, they're like, ew. Dude, I can eat... I, I love oatmeal raisin. I could raisin. slay some of those. They're best when you get them in, like, little sizes, like the, um... The little... Oh, I forgot the brand name now, but they... I know what you're talking about. Yeah. When they just like imagine getting oatmeal raisins in that size and that quantity, oh, oh. I'd eat those forever. Anyway, that's the oatmeal what cream pie from Little Debbie. Yeah, those are good too. Um, so basically, what you're saying is when she tells you, a yeah, limit, but yeah, then, but it's like when you have one, it's like your favorite cookie. So you're gonna go back and you're gonna keep eating the cookies. Like you're gonna do your, but you're gonna overdo yourself you're because you're dick. It's like your mom went out, well, like went out, and so you're gonna stuff yourself so you can get it done, not get noticed, and. 
Um, you're not gonna get noticed when you're 400 and a half pounds, but <laughs> it's like a uh, Family Guy. I was like, "Mama, can I have a cookie?" <laughs> no, diabeto. Roll back to the kitchen. <laughs> oh. Um. So basically, to sum summarize it, when you're restricted, you feel the need for it, but when you're unrestricted, you kind of moderate yourself. You space it out. Yeah, it's like. So, it's like, if your mom just told you, like, go ahead, have as many cookies as you want. You'd probably maybe have one or two, and you're like, okay, I'm satisfied. But if you're us, you'd have, like, six. And <laughs> then you'll the just get sick. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm fat. So that stereotype comes with it. Many people don't know this skinny gene eats more than me. It's, we need to, like, one day in the future, just record us going to a buffet just the whole meal session. Just see how many trips I take compared to how many trips you take. I take two trips at the most, and that's just because it, like, I don't take much at a buffet. I get a little bit of everything, but I just run out of room on the plate. I can take four trips of just regular food. Dude, my dad told me one time, uh, there used to be this place back in, uh, up in Alcoa, and uh, it was unlimited meat. Like, you go there, it was a, it was a mom and pop shop, so it wasn't busy. And my dad was the, him and his buddy were up there for football. And, because my dad, before he had to get his knee surgery, was a star at football. And so, they knew they were going to just gorge themselves, they were going to treat themselves, so they didn't hardly eat anything. That they, like, of course, they did the carb straight, you know, just get right. the, or the carbohydrate, whatever it is, the pasta run. And then they went to the game, but afterwards they went, they, like, didn't eat for, like, three days. <laughs> And they went there, they ate so much, and they were still eating. <laughs> the owners kicked them out because they ate all the food when people were still coming in. Goodness. He said they had mountains of plates. They were just <laughs> destroying them. You know what that reminds me of? Um, I was visiting my mom, and this was while she still had her boyfriend. Um, oh, Rob? Yeah. Uh, we went to this restaurant the night before I had to fly out. I, the, only, the main reason I remember this is not only because of the massive amounts of meats and variety, but also because I remember still feeling sick on the plane the morning after. Oh, did you get the meat sweats? Uh, it was more like, I am bloated for the oh. next, like, three days. But, um, basically what they did, I don't remember what they called it. I remember he described it to me as Meat Kebab City. <laughs> because oh. they had pork chops with cheese on the inside. They had steaks with bacon. They had, like... They had so much different kinds of meat. And See, the thing is, I don't really like stuff, like, anything stuffed with cheese. Because, I it, like, I don't like the super stringy cheese. Because I've had really bad, in I had a really bad incident when I was a kid. Like, it was, like, fifth grade. I was at lunch, and they served those really bad omelets. It was I the only thing to eat. And I took a bite of it, and, I, and, like, the cheese was so stringy, it wouldn't break. And it went down my throat, and I couldn't swallow it. So I had to pull it out of my own throat just so I could breathe again and then I got a referral for disgusting for grossing out people it's like oh I was only doing it to live <laughs> you sorry know, not important um I remember I almost I choked on cauliflower <laughs> I remember that, that that's when cauliflower became not my favorite vegetable anymore um anyway but I normally don't like this kind of like exotic stuff like when I want my meat I want my meat the way I want it <laughs> I, know, I just like I just want my nice porterhouse steak but this stuff was good. Like, the cheese blended in so well with the meat. It wasn't like they had pockets on the inside of the pork for oh. the cheese. It was, oh. like, absorbed through. And oh. you, basically what they did, I shit you not, what they did is they had giant metal shish kebabs. And they had meat on it, different kinds of meat. And they would come out, like, every three minutes with a new shish kebab. And if you, if, god damn it, I always do that. If you ask for something, like, again... They'll bring you a whole shish kebab full of just that, and they'll ask you, okay, how much you want? And you just take it however you want, and they'll be like, okay, we'll be back with more soon. <laughs> I was like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, stop. That's one of those places, it's like, I ha it's like I can't eat it, but I have to try it. <laughs> You're sitting here, like, we're at, have you ever been to Wise Guys Pizza? Uh, I don't think I've had Wise Guys Pizza. They do, um... Uh, a buffet. We go there only for their lunch buffet every now and then. I mean, last time we were there, well, I was there recently, but before that, we haven't been there for a year and a half. Oh. Because, um, but they do any, like, all you do is you walk up to the cashier, hey, can I have, um, the Big Mac pizza? Like, they literally make a Big Mac pizza. And it's great. And, uh, and they'll be like, okay, the next round of pizza, that'll be it. And, like, you're sitting there, we're all sitting there, we're all stuffed. This was one time. 
and it was one of the first times we've been there, or at least I've been there, and um, so we were sitting there, and I'm like, oh man, we're about to go home, and they go like, Papa John's favorite OJ, whatever it was, I don't remember, and I'm like, oh, I don't want it, but I do, <laughs> I went up there and he got like four pieces, this was like when I was like eight, so I was fat as crap. Like this Dude, size. <laughs> I could eat when I was a little kid. I could show you up in eating, and that's hard. <laughs> like, you ate almost a pizza and a half one night, and I could eat about three. The only reason I stopped was because you stopped me. Because, yeah, you, you're not the only one in the house. I, everyone else, like, Keaton and his friend were done eating. You were almost done eating. Your parents were done eating. I know, eating. but I was you, just they snack, and we snack on it all night. Yeah, fair point. There's a reason why we get, like, eight pizzas when we have a party. You ever There's also that? a reason you have eight pieces when I come over. Yeah, and just like, <laughs> all right, everybody get four slices. Like, everybody got what you want? Yeah. All right, give the two boxes <laughs> to Thomas. Satisfy him. It's like we have to make a blood sacrifice. It's like we, Thomas is sitting there in his chair just... <sighs> and you just slide the pizza under the, sto- under the door, and he's like, You have been... <laughs> you have been pardoned for now. <laughs> 20 minutes later, he just... <laughs> pizza slides under the door. Oh, yeah. You just see a box full of, like, the little crests on the end. You walk in there, the cardboard's destroyed. He didn't even open the box. He just straight up ate it. One day he summons you. I wanted cheese stuffed crust. Dude, have you tried, um... I just spat everywhere. Oh, my God. Have you tried Little Caesar's, um, bacon wrap pizza? I think I have, yeah. It's so, so good. good. Dude, if you, if you ever go to the Northeast... You need to find Smashburger. I've said it before. I think I've said it on the podcast. Smashburger is my favorite place of all time to get burgers and fries and drinks. Because it's just amazing. They have this one burger that I get every time. It's a portobello mushroom Swiss. And eh, I'm, I like portobello mushroom Swiss sandwiches and burgers. They're just usually not done that all that well. What they did there was they took the top of a giant portobello, cut off the stem, put it upside down, they put the meat inside of the portobello, and then they put the Swiss, like, three pieces of Swiss cheese on there, and then they put the buns on there, and they toasted the whole thing. They took it back out, and they squeezed it down to get, like, all the juices going so it wasn't dry when they gave it to us. Then they made the smash fries, which it was basically just butter and garlic fries, but it, you would have sworn Zeus sent you down a gift from the gods. It is amazing. <laughs> and don't even get me started on their, like, bottled cream sodas. It's amazing. They'll grab it. They'll shake it up. They'll put it on your tray. And they're like, careful. Now, you're thinking, oh, it's going to explode everywhere. They mean careful, like, don't drop the glass when you taste how amazing this is. <laughs> the place is amazing. I love Smash Burger. Yeah, I definitely, me and my grandma, before uh, she started having all these medical issues, we were going to travel the country. I want to travel the country so bad. Traveling the country would be fun. And we still have that high school plan we were talking about, possibly. Yeah. I say we hit up West Coast and then make our way to the East. I think we should go South, then West, then North, then East. And just I'm thinking make Texas, sport. Cali, like the like our stopping and turnaround Big, points. Texas, yeah. Cali, and... Why not New Jersey? Just because your hometown. Yeah. I mean, it's right next to everything. It's next to Philly. You get, it's like represent. there's it's like was it like a six hour drive to New York? It mm, depending five on hours traffic. If, five hours if you're taking the uh, scenic what route. The, fuck's it called? <laughs> the what? Scenic route. Uh, it's probably six if you take the scenic route, but it's five if you take this one highway that basically goes from South Jersey to like mid New York. Um. It's like three hours from Tom's River to Philadelphia, so that's good. If you want to stop in Philly first and then go to New Jersey, because it's not that far, uh, go visit home. I know, they're like uh, one hour from each other. They're right across the bridge. Yeah. So, the whole thing, like, I love the Northeast. It's great. It's only like five hours from New York to... Also, my cousin lives there, and I haven't seen her in six years. Yeah, the Northeast is great. A lot of people will tell you, like, dude, it's a gang territory it's big cities and all that that's i just, love cities. that's just the damn bronx i love cities and the bronx accents it's hilarious because you go around and you'll be like driving around and you think it's just like a fake thing like put on for a show someone that drops accent. her car keys it's like yes sir i am wearing khakis <laughs> hey what's the are those khakis yeah 
Seriously, it's... I wonder if they say khakis, car keys. Car keys. Hey, you seen the khakis? <laughs> no, I haven't seen the khakis. <laughs> well, I, I need to get to my new pair of car keys. <laughs> <laughs> when you started... When you started that, I was reminded of The Incredibles. <laughs> Honey, where's, where's my, my super suit? suit? What? Where where's my, is my super suit? suit? Why do you need to know? <laughs> the city is in danger. It's for the greater good. The greater good. I am your wife. <laughs> I'm the greatest good you're ever gonna get. <laughs> I it's love sad that. that I know that scene so well. Where's my super, super suit? suit? All right, we missed that. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I can't wait for Incredibles 2. I know, right? I'm so freaking hyped. I'm not going to lie. I'm not very hyped for Finding Dory. Because, like, not. With, with, with what they did in Finding Nemo, it seems like there's not much more they can do. It seems like it's just going to be basically the same thing with the new destination. Yeah, I don't even know what it's going to be about, really, besides Finding Dory. I was going to say, if you stop, I'm going to have to reply with it. It's about finding. <laughs> sure, no. What was the Kiwi dad's Sherman? Name? What was the dad's name? Uh, Norm, I think. Norm. Something like that. Be uh, forty-two Wallaby Way, Sydney. We're gonna Google Be it sure right now. Forty-two Wallaby Way, Sydney. Uh, so, yeah. So, I think we should talk about kids' movies also. Where, like, kids' movies, kids' shows, where those are going. That's not what we want. All right, you keep talking. Um. William Defoe was in that? Hmm? Huh. Who do you play? Gil, probably. Uh, so... Marlon. Marlon. Oh, oh, that's right, it's ironic, because he's named after a dolphin. Um, <laughs> so do you want to talk about the kids' movie thing? Sure. Okay, so... I don't know what you're talking about. I'll explain it. We grew up... In, like, the golden era of kids' movies. Oh! Lion King, up. Finding Nemo, <laughs> Up. Dude, up. Um, That's up. the best movie. Up was that movie good. will give you more feels in the first ten minutes than any movies will in their whole plot line, except for Avatar. Okay. Yeah, Avatar was... Eh, I can't wait for the sequel. Did, there's an Avatar 2. No, there's not. No, I'm asking. Yeah, twenty. 22? It was supposed to come out in 2014, mm-hmm. push back 2015, push back 2016. 2016. Now it's coming out in 2017. But there's three sequels that are supposed to come out back to back from each other. They're working on them all at once. Oh, nice. Um, but like I said, we grew up in the golden era of kids' movies and kids' shows. Even like we were watching SpongeBob, like inappropriate references to SpongeBob. Like they, it's like they could get away with that. They straight up funny. said panty, and they straight up said like. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? They, they, like, they didn't hint at it or anything. They just straight up said those things. And nowadays, it's like a crime if you say, like, underwear in a kid's show. No, no. Unless you're a Nickelodeon sitcom that, like, you could literally get away with, uh, I don't remember, Jeanette McCurdy's sister kick, kissing, uh, what's her name? The redhead. Uh, Ariana Grande. <laughs> right on the show. Weird. Because it was supposed to be like she went feral or something. I don't know. Um, what I do know is that I think we're not going to get many more good kids movies. And we're not. I'm, I'm worried that the sequels to the old ones are going to ruin them. Actually, I don't think Incre- The Incredibles is really ever meant for a true kids movie. I don't think I so. I think it was just something for an all-around type thing. I mean, it seemed like it. It was pretty funny. And it Animation was appealing to kids style. because it was super powers. Yeah. So, what kid doesn't love super powers? Did I tell you about my um, Dash costume? I think I did. For no. kindergarten. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Got wrapped around in toilet paper. <laughs> yeah. So, I think we s- talked about this last podcast. Did we? I yeah. don't remember if we talked about the podcast. Okay. I remember I was sitting right here. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. But If you didn't hear that, go check out the podcast. <laughs> Self-advertising. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I felt like Goku right there. I don't know why. <laughs> uh... So, what was that? Kaioken. I did it. That wasn't... Yay. The... <laughs> did you see the little spike from the slap? No. <laughs> no, I did <laughs> So... Did you see this one? <laughs> Your chair went away. Um, back to the topic. What were some of your favorite kids shows when you were growing up? Up. <laughs> it's not... <laughs> <laughs> 
I enjoyed Ratatouille a whole lot. Ratatouille was... I, I loved Ratatouille. Didn't get nearly as critically acclaimed as some of the other Pixar movies. I always liked uh, Monsters, Inc. Monsters, Inc. was good. I gotta say, they did pretty good with the Monsters, Inc. sequel. I, I never saw it in whole... You never saw Monsters mm. University? No. You need to see that. I've seen like 20 funny. minutes of it. You need to see that. That was pretty good. Like, it doesn't have much to do with the main story other than talking about what they did in college. Like, Mike was nerdy and Sully was popular. That's really yeah. the main gist of it. And they got into a sword Not a sorority. Wow. Um, they got fraternity. Into fraternity. What is the difference between a sor- sorority? is girls. Oh. I want to join a sorority. Actually, it's pretty much just a frat now. Mm. Frat. I've- frat house. Let's get drunk, motherfucker. <laughs> I, um... Honestly, I don't think I could ever live in a frat house because I'm just going to be the one nerd that's sober the whole time sitting there playing Call of Duty. <laughs> the only reason I'd be nice is all free bitches that get to the house. They're pissed drunk like, hey, baby, I don't want to sit on my lap and feel my controller vibrate. <laughs> that, I lied. That's not my controller. That's not my controller. That's my Moby Huge. <laughs> <laughs> not the Moby Huge. Uh, oh, man. I would put the picture of a Moby Huge on, but then this I video would get age-restricted. Yeah, I was going to say, that's a little inappropriate. Uh, the Moby Huge. So, I'm, we're not enforcing that you go look up the Moby Huge. Do it anyway. But you're not going to live until you see the Moby Huge. It's a three foot, th- three feet long, 60-pound dilmo. It comes in white and black. And we're not sure about yellow yet. <laughs> That's the Moby Small. <laughs> it's literally just an ad. All right, we need to stop before we get racist. <laughs> okay, moving on to the next topic. So we need to talk about the Facebook streaming thing. Why do I feel like if Skylar was here, like he'd instantly start getting into a conversation about porn? He absolutely would, because we mentioned the Moby Huge. Um, <laughs> so, Facebook streaming. Uh, I don't know if I introduced you to this or if you already saw this. Because I know I mentioned it at one point, and you seemed a little confused about it. You mentioned it, and I didn't know about it, but then it started blowing up, and I've seen more stuff about it. So I have a buddy who, for no reason, she just, like, streams, like, every day. Just, like, she's just sitting there, she's just the talking to her... Oh my god, what is that? Just kidding. Bullshit. She's watching... What would you do if you just turn around and there's a big-ass man standing there? I'd fall. I'd just fall. Well, you're not even gonna help me, like, attack this man? I'd fall just so I could throw the chair. Anyway, um, because if I fell forward, then I could kick the chair. So, anyway, as I was trying to say, motherfucker, all she does is she just sits there and she streams, and people come on and watch, even when she's doing nothing, and then they'll start talking to her, and she just talks to them. I wonder so, what would happen if she, like, forgot it was on, then just started masturbating. Link me. <laughs> <laughs> just link me. She's probably, uh, like, four. What? She's probably, like, four. Anybody else that like try seventeen? Okay, yeah, definitely link me. <laughs> um, she's not that hot. So, okay, don't. But you brought up the idea about it competing with YouTube and Twitch streaming. Well, Twitch or Facebook has been trying to compete with YouTube for years, but it's all it does is take YouTube's videos. <laughs> like um, Boogie Two Ninety Eight hates it. Uh, like he he uh, shows his frustrations with it through the persona of uh, Francis. Got it. And uh, basically, you can see all these like Francis hates Facebook because people download his video and re-upload it on Facebook. You get thirty three million views, double his profit, and then don't even give him credit. Yeah, I that's what I do a lot of time when I'm looking on Facebook. Like I don't look at my feed normally. I'll click on a video. And even if it doesn't have anything funny on it, I'll scroll down because usually somehow I'll come across something yeah. that's funny. And it's most of the time YouTube videos are Vine comps from YouTube. It's like, oh my god, I've seen this. Where? YouTube. <laughs> my feed's filled with a whole bunch of thirsty-ass girls. That's because you friend, like, everyone. No, I don't. You really don't? No. I don't. I friend only people that I've, like, actually talked to. And then, like, while I was in school, if someone friended me, I was like... Okay, friend, and then I keep meaning to delete them, and I don't. Most of the, the time only I time I really anything. friend anybody that's not like someone I'm actually somewhat close to, like I talk to on a daily, is if I sort of like the girl at the time. <laughs> like here, I'll pull up my feed now, and I could probably show you some thirsty ass shit. So, uh, I honestly don't think Facebook will ever be able to compete with YouTube and Twitch unless YouTube and Twitch die. I think <laughs> Facebook's always been in its own league. It's re- it's ahead in social media, I'd say. 
that and Twitter are both very far ahead in social media. And then we have Instagram that's like rising, and Snapchat, I guess, is apparently becoming interesting. But yeah. Snapchat has been uh, rising to the top of things. I still think Snapchat's in its own little thing, too. Like, Facebook and Twitter... Snapchat's in the league of, like, Kick and such. Yeah. Kick, I don't think that one's very popular, because, like, sometimes I've asked people if they have Kick, and they're like, a what? But if I ask them if they have Snapchat, they're like, oh, yeah! And so many people get, like... They seemed offended when I told them I didn't have Snapchat at one point. And then I got it just because I wanted to screw around with the face filters, because I'm dumb. So... Yeah, so that's basically what society has come down to. I'm not going to, like, reveal anything, but, like, your little My song. Rap. Yeah, your rap. I mean, I don't care. It's like, he wrote, if he, soon, I don't know when it's going to be released, but on his channel that no one really... My vlogging channel that I haven't linked to my gaming channel. So. <laughs> um, and you won't know it. Yeah. <laughs> unless he discloses it. But... He is uh, tra- going to release the rap there, possibly on this channel, maybe. Maybe. And it's about today's society, how it's uh, deteriorating and everything that's really wrong with it. And I I take it close to heart because it's true. Well, I can't take complete credit for it. One of my buddies, she posted this l- list on Facebook. And basically all I did was cut some parts out, rearrange some parts, and I made it rhyme. That's really mostly what I did. Yeah, but you're the one that's taking the initiative on it. Right. My dad even liked it. That's the weird thing. My dad hates rap music, and he likes it. <laughs> yeah, but you do, like, philosophical rap. I, I Honestly, I don't really like Eminem rap because he just talks about what he did in the day. Right. Pretty much, like, any. I like the rap that has a meaning to it. I mean, a lot... Like I've told you before, he's got multiple personas with rapping, and... Basically, he's got his I really, satire, which I is I hate Slim Shady. Slim Shady. I, I, I mean, I, I enjoy Rap God a little bit. There's some songs I enjoy, but I, otherwise, I hate Slim Shady. You're just talking about how he gets bitches, he gets money. I just like the tune, and I think it's kind of funny sometimes. And I know most of the real Slim Shady, which is kind of sad, because I used to listen to it all the time. But, um, like, a lot of his stuff, like Mockingbird and stuff like that, that's talking about him and his family and his kids and stuff like that. And it's very repetitive at times, but it's like... It's kind of a cool tune and stuff. Like, sometimes I listen to his music and I don't even pay attention to it. I did like the one song. I don't remember what it is, but it had Rihanna, the Stand There and Watch Me Burn. Mm -hmm. That's um, Love the Way You Lie. Yeah, Love the Way You Lie. That's what it is. But I know that wasn't some shaming at all. Can't tell you what it really is. I can only. No, we're not getting copyright because of you. Mom's spaghetti. Just humming the tone will get you copyright. I wasn't even humming. I was hemming the mirror. It's in the tone. I went hemming the mirror. In the tone of the song. I heard your voice get lower, higher, and lower. Okay, we need to get back onto what we were talking about. Because you're a faggot. I missed. <laughs> Not shot. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> you hit me square in the nuts earlier. Didn't mean to. <laughs> I really didn't. And I meant to when I hit you back, so. True. Now we're even. No, we're not. I'll grab that sword. I'll grab that sword. Eh, I'm quicker. I can stab that in your butt first. I can be quick when I want to. That would be scary to just, like, come around the corner and just see Kane running at you in a freaking, like, Whoa, I'm just in just... knight's armor. <laughs> no, come at me, bitch. You just have it in a thong and you're covered with pancake syrup. <laughs> pancake syrup? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, um, have you ever seen the Attack on Titan um, dude running, the fat dude running? Nah, not the fat dude. Alright, you keep talking and I'll show you. So, um, uh, but it would just be scary to see just anyone in general that's really, like, wide, just, like, in a thong, sprinting at you, and just seeing their nipples, like, just jiggle up and down and up and down and up and down. See if I can find it. So, Did you quit burping in the mic. I've been like moving away and such. Brat. I heard that right in my ear. Well, I was right here, so shut up. Uh. Hmm. So let's get back to the Facebook thing. Uh, yeah. Like I said before, I don't believe Facebook's gonna be able to 
even if they try, they're not going to be able to compete with. Uh, yeah, like they're completely in their own league. I feel like the streaming thing at this point is morally for. Hey, I'm on vacation. I know, and they're trying to compete with Periscope. Periscope. Periscope does the same thing. It's uh, the first mobile streaming. They they perfected it in basically the same thing Facebook's doing. Like you just get on your phone, you chat with people live. That's about it. And then Twitch and YouTube are used for streaming gaming and other things on YouTube. But yeah, like porn. Actually, no. Even though there's blatant porn on there, mm-hmm. but like because uh, YouTube's algorithms are really messed up, and it can't. But it it can instantly copyright you. But it can't find the porn. Yeah, that's weird. Um, Twitch, though. Twitch is, like, purely gaming. And then there's the gaming talk shows and the creative section, of course. But, like, it's mostly just gaming. Yeah. Well, actually, no. It's not mostly gaming at all. It really isn't? No. It's a big part. But most of it's vlogging and, uh, like, uh, short films. (laughs) That's a huge portion of it. I think that takes up, like, 68% of it from last I saw. Vlogging, weird. Yeah, a lot of people do vlogs because that used to be the first. That was the first thing on YouTube was vlogs. That's I was talking about Twitch. Here. You said YouTube. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant Twitch. Twitch is mostly Twitch is exclusive gaming. Yeah. There's well, they've no... got they've got the gaming talk show area where it's like a lot of face cams and stuff, and then they have um like the creative section, which is just a face cam onto whatever people are making, or sometimes if they're making stuff for games or making. German going out. So, yeah. That's what I was talking about. I meant Twitch, sorry. I know YouTube's a lot of vlogging, too. Yeah. So, that's basically my thoughts on Facebook. Yeah. I don't personally like Facebook anyway. Like, especially for the people that I'm friends with, at least. It's not... They're not funny. They're not cool. I mean, the only person that's funny is my damn bus driver. (laughs) That's a little sad. Um, The main reason I have (laughs) Facebook is just because it's kind of funny to look at, like, I'm a friend. I'm friends with a couple people that are a year behind us because they apparently talked to me during art class when I was at Walcott. I was like, "What?" I was very confused. So, um, I don't know. I somewhat recognized them, so they added me, and I was like, "Sure, whatever, cool." And a lot of the time, it's pretty funny because I'm comparing what they experienced in their grade compared to what we experienced in our first year, and um, they're like. Oh, so tired. Just had like four hour bus ride at like seven in the morning. And now we're on our way back after a couple hours of visiting at blah, blah, blah. Or like so much homework. And I'm just thinking in my head the whole time, they're screwed. Yeah, it's like I wish I can go back to eighth and seventh grade and <laughs> use that homework. That homework was so easy. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't easy for me. I'm still dumb, but... Um, the math homework was hard for me. I've never been good at math. Me neither. I don't think I'll ever be in any advanced class for math. Uh, Which really sucks, because I want to get an eye guess. Yeah, you need to be in geometry. Um, What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Like, we... I don't know about you, but I barely ever complained about like how much homework we had and how little sleep I got during 8th grade. I only complain about how little sleep I got is because if I, I am so sleep-dependent... Like, if I don't get X amount of hours of sleep, it's not going to be a good day. Like, there's been times where um, I was in Dykstra's class, and I was sitting there, and I was, like, got, like, four hours of sleep. I'm so, I'm, I straight up just passed out. Like, I'm just... <laughs> Dykstra came up to me. He's like, dude, are you all right? Everybody's looking at me. I'm like, huh, oh, what happened? Mm-hmm. And it's like, everybody said it. It's just, I was sitting there, just looking at the board, and I just, bong, and I just slammed my head on the desk, and I was out. <laughs> Mr. Dykes was that guy that would get you a pillow and put a little blanket over your shoulders. He did get me a pillow. He didn't get me the blanket. (laughs) He got me a pillow and I fell right back asleep. He's like, because I had his AP. He's like, I'll just catch you up tomorrow. (laughs) Um, You know, people have started calling him Mr. Dyke. (laughs) Really? Because apparently he's been a huge dick this year, so they've just started calling him Mr. Dyke. He's only a dick if the class is bad. Yeah. Like, he's one of those teachers that. He give he outputs as much respect like his his moods of is reflection on how the class acts. I, like he was great for us. I well you switched classes, but I no, I never switched classes. You didn't. I was in the same class the whole time. The whole time. I, I could have s- swore you switched 
to like another class at one point. No, oh yeah, yeah I when did. You got your, when you got him for AP, then you switched to another block. But he, you remember the people in our class somewhat. They were terrible. The only reason he was like at all nice towards me was because I was on track and I ran hurdles, which he coached hurdles. So he took a liking towards me because I was participating in that. Dude, he was so mad at me because Huntley made me get uh, uh, track form. And I was filling it out and everything. I'm like, I've struck a deal with my dad. And it's like, I don't I don't like track, really. I mean, I'm all right with shot putting discus. That's what I was going to do. And um, we were talking. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to go to the gym with you for like an hour and a half. I'm going to get a better workout with you than I am with track. So I went to Dykstra just to let him know. It's like, hey, I'm not doing track. i got a better form. And he was so mad. <laughs> but then when I did detasseling, he was more respect. Because I, I never missed a day. Like, that was the only time I was not a man of my word. Usually when I sign up for something, I, I want to back out, but I won't. Well. Because I hate to disappoint. That's like one of my biggest fears, disappointing people. You Making disappoint people, me every time you wake up. I don't care world. about <laughs> you. Because you disappointed me the moment you came out of your mother's womb. I just sensed the fag <laughs> in the air. When's your birthday? June. That was the day I cried all day. All of June. Uh, all, just all of June. All of June. You slept crying, you woke crying, you yawned crying, you cried Cried a little crying. bit right now. <laughs> it's June. This no sinuses, this is fag month. Holy shit, it is June. Yeah, it's June like 7th now. Yeah, it's June. it's been June 7th for 25 minutes. Let's check, just to be sure. Yep, June 7th. Man, we're almost halfway done with summer. Even though we're on, like, our second week. That just shows... Well, we go back at the end of August, so I guess we're not yeah. halfway yeah, done. Yeah, because they switched around the dates a little bit now. You know that Iowa is now a law that... Uh, we're so lucky to live in Iowa because, what well, it's a law to where we can't go back to school when, before uh, before the Iowa State Fair. <laughs> Fair. Nice. Because the one year that we went back to school, the Iowa State Fair... During the Iowa State Fair... Nobody they showed up. They lost 50% of the profit because everybody's like high schoolers. Oh. Like, you know, if the kids are going to go, like the younger kids, like us in 8th grade, right. the parents are going to be there. Right. High and, schoolers. Are... But high schoolers, you know, that's like 50% of the population. Because they're there to be inappropriate and have fun. Because <laughs> that's what high schoolers do. Just Sweet. going... Going there, smack some asses, <laughs> just getting the crowd. Everybody's just raving. Just <laughs> whoa! I think I did some that smack there, but I don't even care. <laughs> whoa! whoa. <laughs> Look at that ass there! <laughs> I think it spoke to me. What did it say, Cletus? It said it wants you to touch me. I looked, <laughs> I looked down at my penis. I was like, simmer down here. Simmer oh down God. here, Jimmy. Oh. Hey, Cletus, come take a look mm. at this. This thing can engulf my face. Okay, so... Billy, mm. you need to stop. <laughs> Why do I need to stop? That's your grandma. <laughs> I'm starting to turn us to Forrest Gump. <laughs> okay. Jenny. He shot me right in the buttocks. He said it's the million Mom. dollar wound. But I think the armor keeps that money. I haven't seen the million dollars yet. <laughs> Mom always said life was like a box of grenades. A la Akba. But <laughs> you're turning into water bar. Mama shed. The alligators are so, are so, are so mean because they, they, they can't brush their teeth and they get mad because their teeth are really nasty. Have you never seen Waterboy? Oh my god, you missed out. It's like one of Adam Sandler's best movies. Waterboy next to Happy Gilmore. Kane, I want to tell you something. You're gay. No. <laughs> um, Took you a minute. You know, um, think about that. I couldn't pronounce no. Um, anyway, <laughs> you're gonna get a girlfriend one of these days, and you're gonna want to touch her, but there's only one way to do it. With the mob huge. <laughs> okay, there's two ways to do it. <laughs> you have to grab her by the waist. You gotta pull her in close. And then when you lift her up, knock her out with my you dick. You Batista bomb her. <laughs> I would so do that. Like I would literally just like pick her up. You know, she her legs are wrapped around my my waist, and then I'll just jump in the air. Batista <laughs> bomb. Sit down. 
get the fuck down. <laughs> and then you're gonna be in the background. Just like that. <laughs> no, it's gonna be like my guy in UFC, how you sitting there on the ground and just uh, uh, jump on you. Bam, 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 bam. Then you get up to try to let me get up and just super man punch me. Again. <laughs> She's in there. Kane, what are you doing? All right, get a <laughs> Pick her up. <laughs> You just freaking full on wrestle your girlfriend. <laughs> we'll be out in the middle of like, freaking crossing the highway and just. She's like, fuck. <laughs> we're sitting there. I'm like, gonna have my Dodge Challenger. We're gonna be in the middle. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna. I'm just nice car choice. Stop in the middle of the highway, open my door, go to her door, get on, pull her on top of the car. And she's like, oh, okay, and this is good. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Knock her ass out. <laughs> she's, I'm just gonna tie her to the freaking roof. She's my hood ornament. That's she not the. She's gonna wait. <laughs> I, I, I changed my mind. The hood. Well, she has to be on the roof. The hood's not big enough. I mean, I guess you could if you want to stare at that ass. If, if I going. have a, I, I have to have a girl that is somewhat meets my height. So that is not gonna fit on the hood. I, I don't like them like tiny, tiny, like a schoolgirl tiny, but like, <laughs> you know, shoulder height. That that's cute. That's cute. You're like a petite. Not that petite. <laughs> When I think petite, I'm thinking like my ex before my current girlfriend. That's petite. God, she looks like a freaking bulldog. That's exactly what I was gonna say. I know, cause I say it all the time. Like seriously. That was weak. Time nice. and science. I was about to go up to her and ask her a question. <laughs> she had, she has the little mustache to match too. I, know, I do that to her all the time. When we were in science class, I bark at her. She gets so mad because she probably thought I was trying to hit on her. But really, I was just insulting her. Uh, it's like, have you seen a mirror? Oh, God. But now she's best friends with my girlfriend, so that's kind of awkward. <laughs> don't ever try to hook me up with a double date with that bitch. No. I don't hook you up, period. I know, but I'm just saying, like, one of those times... Unless you're gonna be, like, in third... Unless you're gonna be a third grader where you're like, can you tell I'm just saying it's like, I like her? I was like, I'm, I'm just saying it's like, maybe it was like, uh, your girlfriend was tired of hearing her complaints, so it's like, you try just getting her... her your girlfriend to shut up about her stitch. Getting her, her to shut William. Up. That <laughs> was a good idea. They would be perfect together. <laughs> the complainer with the complainer. <laughs> He's not that much of a complainer, though. He's pretty chill to play with. I was with. talking about her. Oh. She's a double complainer. <laughs> God. William, okay. I th- I thought about it the other day. He changed. He's my little man. The entire time... Okay, so while we were replaying Destiny, we've been talking about having this third gamer that mm-hmm. we like. He's like us. He's chill and stuff. I think William is now that third gamer. Yeah. The only thing I'm worried about... Is if he starts getting on Xbox more again, he's gonna turn into what he used to be. That's what I'm worried about. No, I don't think he will. But he just never gets on. Well, no, just think about it though. Because busy. When he got on frequently, like I know it's probably to do with more with being in high school now. But like when he used to get on frequently, he was annoying. But now that he doesn't get on as much, well, the also remember, times he does get on. It's so that was before puberty. Puberty actually did him a favor. It <laughs> did us a favor. Yeah, no, it didn't do me no fucking it, favors. <laughs> yeah, me neither. The only thing it did for me is made my dick bigger. I had pubes. All I gotta do is fold it in half, 14 inches. Got it. <laughs> that was before it grew. <laughs> I that am the most huge. <laughs> <laughs> that was modeled after me. I can see where they get the nuts from. <laughs> Learn how, you, how to get my dick six inches in a matter of seconds. Fold it. Got it. Uh, you know how many people are dumb at our school and they think that... that <laughs> yes! <laughs> calm your taint. Um, okay, so you know how you can fold, I think it's the $1 bill, and you can make, like, what's supposedly the Twin Towers fall? Uh, no. There's, like, some... Or you can fold some kind of dollar bill, and it's... You it's can the make the Twin Towers. Bill. I think it might be, but it's, like... I was, I was no, thinking you were talking about the $1 so much... bill, you could, or the $10 bill you can turn into <laughs> looking like a $100 bill. No, um, I did that to a waitress once, and we were walking out, and she screamed in happiness, and then started crying. I felt so bad. I wouldn't. Um, but I someone showed me it before, so I know it's not a hundred dollar bill. Because, <laughs> um, basically, rude. Uh, <laughs> you can fold some dollar bill. I think it might be a twenty now, or twenty or five. I think now that I think about it, but you supposedly it looks like the twin towers fall. 
And there are so many people that are so dumb in our school because I've showed it to them before. And they're like, wow, the government is actually bad. <laughs> like, they gave me this puppy dog stare and everything. Like, <gasps> what? I'm guessing one of those kids was Michael. That kid's just retarded. Michael. He dropped out because that he's a Michael. freshman and he's 16. All right, yeah, yeah. I was, um... Or most freshmen are 14 turning 15. You gotta understand, I met him in ROTC, so I'm not used to his first name. Um, I don't know his last name, but he was in my science group, and he was a faggot. <laughs> I, I hope have he hears this. Experience. I hope he hears this. He won't, but that'd if he does, that'd be hell. great. <laughs> he, he's, hey, dude. Okay, so he dropped out. He showed up to school two days later to see his girlfriend. Multiple funny things happened. First thing is, he had dyed his hair red and everything, and like, or he dyed part of his hair red, and he was like, it was two days, but he had grown like almost a full goatee without sh when he didn't shave. And, like, his mustache was coming in, and he got, like, a bit fatter. I don't know how he did it in two days, but he did. The best part is, you know how I said he dyed his hair red? Mm hmm Well, the girl he was dating at the time has red hair, and she broke up with him that day. <laughs> so he went home devastated. That was funny. Because he dyed his hair? That's he why died... she broke up with him? No, she just broke up with him because she was going to break up with him, but he dyed his hair red to like show he was devoted to her and then coincidentally on the same day she was why, why does that show devotion i don't know that's just how i thought the kid was just a fag i mean he is, he is but still i have leadership experience this kid okay. cried literally he didn't does want to admit it but he cried up front in science class because i changed music on the presentation and i had to turn it into a video because the thing was like 15 minutes worth of presentation, only, and it had to be five. So I had to compress it, and I made it into a video. Miss, no, I can't say her name, but... Um, Miss Cheesenut. Miss Cheesenut. She was pretty impressed with it. She liked it. Miss Cheesenut likes a lot of things, though. Like, if you're a model student... Dude, I was. She talks about me to every class. She literally uses me as... A, everybody comes to me... Um, uh, to me, it's like, oh, hey, nice job in your presentation. I'm like, what? what are you talking about? It's like, oh, yeah, Miss Chester's telling us about it. And showed it to Dip us. Dipshit. It's Miss Cheesenut. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's okay, we've done that with Timmy too many times. This honestly, she probably wouldn't care. She wouldn't. I mean, honestly. we're not talking bad about her. She was a great teacher. Yeah. Everybody said she was so mean. She was only mean if you didn't pay attention. She was a nice teacher. <laughs> And obviously, those were the people that were very bad at hiding their phones, too, during class. So. Yeah, they're sitting there, phone right on the desk. <laughs> Cheyenne, put away your phone. Uh, no. <laughs> this one, okay. You know Mr. Lord, the gay kid. Blonde hair. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> he, like, we were in the middle of our final in that class, and he just starts randomly singing. Like, he feels the need to sing every time he's in that class because he's in show choir. Then... God, I hate those kids. Like, I mean, show choir. The only person that doesn't do that is Robbie. Brandon a, doesn't do it either, so. Well, Brandon's just queer. Show queer. Show queer. <laughs> but we still tease him with that. Everybody else. Like, this one girl. <laughs> my bus driver. Oh, God. Was brutal to this girl. <laughs> like, she's so bad. She literally got off the bus, so waving her head back and forth. Clapping her hands, singing. <laughs> My bus driver's like, it's just a Stevie Wonder kind of day. Just, it, it was great. <laughs> He's, she sits there and sings to herself. He's making fun of her. It's like, hey, you better stop talking to yourself back there. It's bad for you. <laughs> he was brutal. Uh -huh. And then she wore short shorts one day and she was walking to the bus. He's like, damn, I can't see. Those are some white legs. <laughs> Like, she's, I think she might be Irish. Like, she's straight up Irish. Because Ginger, the Irish. <laughs> she just doesn't sound like Ginger, fatter, and pale as hell. She's the stereotypical Irish woman. Hmm. Without the action, without the accent. Hmm. Um, but that Mr. Lord kid, he, uh, he also feels the need to take charge. Did I tell you, you know, you yeah. remember the split yeah. class project? Yeah, I told you about that already. Um... I think he mentioned a few times in one of the original podcasts. I might have. He's just very, like, take charge. He doesn't like me because he thinks I'm... He tries to be the natural born leader. Yeah. And then the worst part is, 
I thought I was done with having to deal with dickhead gay kids after the first half of the year. Because <laughs> I had Miss Chestnut's class at the same time just all year. Just say her name. I already said it. Miss Chester. Um, I like just saying Miss Cheesnut. Uh, all right, go ahead. Uh, so, I had this kid, Noah. Do you know him? He's another gay kid. He at least dresses like a decent human being. <laughs> yeah, like a normal one? Yeah, he... I'm not saying gays aren't normal. Like, no, 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 no. Please no. don't get offended by this at all. I know we got a couple... It's just we have gay people at our school that dress like they don't own anything but did you sweatpants. See the one, did you see the one kid that literally came in short shorts? And I know he... I know two gay people. Oh, I Mr. know about and no. 50. <laughs> um, well, two, two gay guys, at least. Uh, so, Noah just didn't like me off the bat. <laughs> And it wasn't anything about me. He just didn't like me. He got bad vibes off me. <laughs> so he was a dick. And then after he moved out of that class, I thought I was done with dickhead gay kids for the rest of the year. I waved at Noah every now and then in the hallway just to piss him off. Just then I had Mr. Sweetie. Lord. And at that point, I was missing Noah for the dickhead gay kid. I was like, ugh. Because mr lord decided to have like a complete rivalry with me for some reason anytime i led in something he led in something it was bad wasn't he the leader for the opposite group mm -hmm. and that's when he came over and asked me how my group was doing i took a glance over there and half of his group was playing games on the chromebooks i was like so your group's under control huh yeah no they're not miss chaster didn't want me being the group leader for anything else really because I took too much of a charge like when my group wasn't doing what I told them to do they did not like me anymore mine didn't either don't worry but I made it up like these two girls not working at all I got really mad at them yelled my ass off at them and I felt bad later so I paid for their entry into the lip sync contest <laughs> I wouldn't I'd just be like you earned that fucking no but it's like they're cool people like I'm friends with them but they're just, they weren't smart. They're not smart at all. So finish your story, because now I have one. Uh, what was it? Yelled at two girls for not behaving, took charge. And, and so Miss Chester basically started getting mad at me. She's like, oh, no need to yell. I'm like, there is a perfect need to yell. She, you're just not capable. She's like, I wouldn't yell. I'm like, you're not capable of yelling. <laughs> You're too quiet. She she was, like, afraid to tell me off. She seemed, like, really shaky when she told me off after I yelled. Dude, oh. she was she was shaking. I, sh I got her shooken. Yeah, like, she, she was shaking in her desk, like, sitting down after, like, I got pretty mad. Like, I've already told her before, I'm a gentle giant. It takes a lot to piss me off. It truly does. Or it doesn't me take off, a lot to piss, piss me, me off. off to the point to where I show that I'm mad. It doesn't take a lot to piss me off. You just have to hit the right subjects. Ugh. Did I hit it? Subjects, not spots. New oh. Jersey is gay. Cool. Uh, <laughs> I, I used to stay at home with you. Uh, it's New uh, Jersey. <laughs> anyway. Right in the nipple, that was a snipe. <laughs> I feel like Russell now. Here's snipey, snipey, snipe. <laughs> From the movie. Up. <laughs> Mr. Uh, Fred was in. Mm -hmm. I found the snipe. So basically, we His for one of the projects... Kevin. For one of the projects in our class, we had to, like, make... I don't even remember what the project was. I just remember we split up into halves. And um, I gave my group... I was very easy at first. I gave my group nice options for when they didn't want to behave. I told them they could either go into front leaning rest, which is just push-up position, and then you could get back to work. And you had three chances to do this. And nobody took it. And then I got up in... Actually, it's currently my girlfriend. <laughs> I got up in her face and I started yelling at her because she wasn't doing anything the entire time. She kept deleting and changing documents. Maybe that's documents. what turned her on. Totally. Take um, control of me. <laughs> she didn't, huge. She didn't listen to me either. So that was the day. Dude, like I didn't backhand her right there. <laughs> and that's where the relationship started. Absolutely. Um, I totally wasn't dating her best friend at the time. Um, so. I didn't even have to talk to Miss Chester. I took a glance at Miss Chester and she was okay with it. At at that point, I took away any like no or I took away any no punishment options like the front lean rest thing and I sh went straight to you're losing participation points if I catch you doing things. <laughs> That's what I didn't like I I blatantly do it too like and this girl was sitting there same girls like yeah that they're sitting there on the phone I'm like Miss Chester I literally said like Miss Chester Miss Chester, she's like, yes. I'm like, these two 
Rosamikers need to get participation points lost. She's laughing at it. She's like, okay. Zoom gets him a zero for the day. Yeah, no. I'm she... like, you gar- you girls can't earn it back. I mean, we have like 45 minutes left to cl- or 40 minutes left to class. Jesus, that didn't take long. Um, yeah, that's what made me mad. I think out of my whole group, two people other than me got like participation points every day. Sometimes people would get like a couple a day. It was day. me, Blake, and Aaron Lynn were the only one, and somehow Sid that got the only mm. participation points. Sid sat there and talked about moon boots for 30 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> He's so funny though. He uh, came into us. He came into me and Blake's booth and welding and just took it. Wasn't wearing a helmet. Wasn't wearing glasses. Wasn't wearing a jacket. He, just, <laughs> he comes to school the next day all blistered up because he got arc flashed. Dumbass. <laughs> um. So yeah, needless to say, a lot of people didn't like me after I started yelling. And then Mr. Lord, he came over after I yelled, and he was like, "How's everything going over here?" I was pissed. <laughs> I started telling him off. And then one of the kids, like a bunch of the kids actually from the other group, they were like, you know, I'm really glad I got Andrew for my leader. And I had to explain to them, you probably have the same feeling. I don't need to be hard. People make me difficult. I'm not going to say people make me hard. <laughs> Damn it. People do make me hard. Certain if they're people. a girl. Whoa. So if I brought in Miss Williams, both of them, Naked. Aggressively making out. (laughs) Yeah, that's what I thought. Um. (laughs) 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 Uh. Right in my hand. Ooh, ooh, ooh. (laughs) (laughs) Alright, let's stop. Alright, uh. So. This is why we need a face cam. This is really Durbin, you better piss off. <laughs> he comes over here slithering around like a... He's a snack. <laughs> snack. Slithering in the garden. Was that you that sent me that? No, Sebastian. Sebastian. He sent that to all of us. Because I got on my freaking Google... Like, I forgot about it. And then I got on my Google Drive at the end of the year. Like, it was the last day of school. I got under my, like, sent to me. And not a lot of people send me things through Google Drive. They, like, share them with me. So I looked under my scent with me because I went to go to share with me. Yeah. And one of the first things I saw was the snake thing. And the guy's just sitting there with a little snake hat on. you never seen that video before? I think I watched it once because it seemed familiar when I watched it. But I was like, oh, well then. (laughs) Choke slam. (laughs) Here, Dermot, I need to practice for when I get a girlfriend. All right, I don't need to choke slam you. (laughs) You need a Batista bomb him. (laughs) (laughs) So... Derby. You're right, we really need a face, face cam for how the things we do. <laughs> no. He's chilling like a villain on, on penicillin, penicillin. Making with, a living with, with Bob, Bob Dylan. Dylan. Woo! Credit goes to Chow Boy. Chow Boy? Chow Boy HD. Dude, I want to play with him so bad. Even though he's Scottish, I need to get in with my Irish roots. <laughs> you know what we should make a video about? Hmm. Roasting each other. Okay. Okay. We, we will do that. I'm going. <laughs> when we remember. <laughs> it's just like we, we... We have all these ideas and we'll never put them to tuition. Like, I still want to do MLG workout. I feel like that could still work funny. Yeah, we're trying... Oh. We always forget. We can do it tomorrow. What are we, On what? We have nothing to feed them. The same thing we did last time. I'm like, no memory. Oh. Oh, wait, no, I just deleted the movie, so... Uh, I'll watch the Avatar on the way to Chicago <laughs> three times. <laughs> Jesus. So. It's my favorite movie. <laughs> I remember you borrowed that movie from me and I never got it back You're until I asked for it. I don't care. I'm not doing it. I, I don't watch movies it. anymore. Uh, yeah, I have six gigs available. Almost mm-hmm. seven. So we can do a few. So, yeah. Um, I don't even buy that movie off you. I fucking love that movie. Okay. But it's. I'm probably going to, like, GameStop you and say, like, just two bucks. <laughs> Or I could ga- or I could actually GameStop you and say fifteen, but if you want to sell it back to me, I'm gonna give you like five cents. Or I can just do the cane and just not give it to you. That's not the cane. Cane, you always pay me. How about this? Hey, you're just mad because I'll be able to do something with my fucking guitar in hand that you'll never be able to achieve in your entire life, kid. So yeah, you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> I love 
I think we both agree the guitar makes it so much better. It's like I just imagine him. He's sitting there with the guitar. I'm imagining Zion saying that. Zion or Skyler? I'd say that was Garrett if he ever got Xbox. <laughs> Derman, that was over so- Xbox? Yeah, that's a real Xbox I message. That, I thought that was on Vine. Like it's I thought that was a seconds. Vine of two people talking. No, it's old. It's like old trash talk. Goodness. You know, I miss old trash talk. I have trash to show you talk. some of the MW2 trash talking days. They were great. Dude, old trash talk was great because it was actual trash talk. It's, it wasn't like, yo, mama, or what are those? Or just like, you suck at Call of Duty, I can 420 no-scope you with my ballistic knife <laughs> all day. <laughs> it's way worse. Like, it's sitting there the whole time. Shut up, faggot, I'll fuck you last night. Shut up, you fucking faggot. No, you're a faggot. That's, that's it, basically what it is. It's seriously, like, it's no longer creative. Yeah, but <laughs> I remember playing MW3 and just sitting there on mute, hearing conversations go back and forth between dudes on the... Because in MW3, you get three sec. If the dude stays in the kill cam, you get, I believe, eight seconds to talk to the enemy player, and you just hear trash talk going back and forth for eight seconds, and they go silent. And then you, the, one, the other one kills the other, and you just hear it go again. I don't know if they still have it, but I know in Black Ops 2... stinks. <laughs> Not mine. The dogs. The dogs. I know. See, if I hadn't, ex- if neither of us had explained that, they would all have thought I was. You were talking about me. Um, I never noticed it until you pointed it out. But in Black Ops Two multiplayer, when you got killed, you would hear, or if you got a kill, you would hear the dude's reaction. And um, like I don't know if they still do it in like the newer Call of Duties because no. like solo people playing game chat. They, they do it for really a think. second, and you just hear oh, <laughs> oh. That's why I go eh. Anytime I get killed, just to like add to the. And effect. a lot of people still don't know what it was for. It's just an extra release of dopamine. It's like, yes, I vanquished you. <laughs> Except the defeat. Except my anus. Okay. Except my Moby Huge. Yeah. My Moby Huge smells like a Moby Huge. <laughs> because it's the Moby Huge. Why do you want me to scratch your ass? <laughs> So what's your favorite meme that's been going around like recently? Like the spun either the SpongeBob, the Mr. Krabs, the Dat Boy. I hated the Dat Boy so Dat much. Boy, it's, it's retarded. It's so dumb. It's funny in some cases. It's just all I don't know. Oh shit! What up? It's I like it more in like um, like with the cover of Saving Private Ryan, they sit they replace it with Saving Dat Boy, and they have a picture of Dat Boy like faded out for the background, and then. Down in the bottom, like it—it it looks like the normal cover for it and everything. And just if you pay attention in the little part where it normally has like creditors in the bottom, like in the middle of it says, "Oh shit, what up?" Like that was no, actually. I think it's just dumb how it's a frog on a unicycle. It, it is dumb, but it's like sometimes it could be executed as just like okay. the don't like the chair, Durbin. Just like the dumbass damn Daniel. Stop hashtag stop making stupid people famous. Yeah, that. I don't even understand why Damn Daniel became famous. I don't know. I got into some pretty intense mm. arguments with Emma in a cooking class over why it was stupid. Mm. It's like it takes no skill, comedic skill whatsoever to sit there. Go, even I could Damn, be famous. Damn Daniel! If that's what's back con- at it again with the white bands. If that's what's considered funny, even I could be funny. And you know you're failing if I can be funny based off your content. Mm-hmm. Like you know you're doing something wrong. Mm. You know you're doing something wrong when Thomas profits from what you said. Move your fingers. He's licking my shirt. <laughs> Good. I want you to have a wet shirt because gradually he's going to look up and lick your nipple. And you'll like it. He's my drums. <laughs> he actually Spanked likes this my too. Ass That's the like worst. You just tap on his belly and he loves it. Spank my ass. Like an oh, there goes his leg. His <laughs> eye <laughs> just went crazy. <laughs> we could have a whole video dedicated just fooling around with Durbin. All right, time for you to get off. Bye, faggot. Oh, God, you're right. He does smell. You just, like, released the stench onto me when you turned. His freaking, uh, breath? Yeah. I live with my dad, jackass. <laughs> what was that supposed to mean? Means I can hold my breath long Penis enough. breath? What the fuck? Your snap palm? No. Equals penis breath for your dad. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, my dad wouldn't even get Let's lucky Let's just assume then. it's forced. Yeah, I was going to say, because even then my dad wouldn't get lucky. 
Durbin, you gotta go. Go on. He's so comfy on my legs, and I'm not comfy with him. All right, I'll just ignore him. If he licks me more than three times in a matter of three seconds, I'm gonna beat him. <laughs> just kidding. I'm not gonna beat him. I'm gonna kick him off. Oh, that's one. Oh, he licked me. <laughs> three. <laughs> one. We still have a podcast going. We do. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, how long have we been going? An hour and nine minutes. Wow. This is actually pr- pr- shorter than I expected. So you think we should just wrap it up here? We're kind of rambling here. Uh, sure. Okay, everyone, thank you for tuning in to this another Midwinders Radio. I'm James Gaming, and this is Sergeant Kodiak, and thank you for tuning in again. And we are signing off. <laughs>